Hello, I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Welcome to the Daily Devotion for April 20th. Life is full of choices, and our choices matter. Day in and day out, we are making choices. Even when we decide not to make a choice, that in and of itself is a choice. In our Bible reading today, Abraham has made a choice, and his choice mattered in terms of God's plan for Abraham. God called Abraham to enter into a covenant relationship. God's plan to restore the estranged relationship between God and humanity was to be fulfilled through Abraham and his family. God made promises to Abraham. God promised Abraham land, descendants, and blessing. Now for us to understand blessing, we have to know that it is about more than simply kind and supportive words. The blessing of God is a gracious power that is active in our lives. Abraham chose to say yes to God. And with that, that decision to say yes to God's invitation to be in a covenant relationship, it meant that Abraham had to make changes. He had to leave his homeland and go to the promised land. The promised land was the land, land of Canaan. Abraham did not go alone. Abraham was the head, the patriarch of a large household. So there would have been people, but also flocks and herds of sheep and goats. But it's, it's even more than that. Abraham was also accompanied by his nephew, Lot. Lot also had a household. And so there were herds and, and flocks of, of sheep and goats as well. There came a time when Abraham and Lot had to part company because the land could not sustain both of their households. Now, instead of Abraham being guided by God's promise and saying, well, I must go into the land of Canaan and you must go into the Jordan Valley, Abraham allowed Lot to make the decision. Now, it sounds as though from the way the story is told that Abraham is more interested in maintaining family harmony by allowing Lot to make the decision. Fortunately, Lot did choose to go into the Jordan Valley. After Lot has made his departure, we find that, that God is then giving direction to Abraham to go and to look around all of the land of Canaan that has been given to him. And so in our reading today, we have that story of, of Abraham looking around this, this gift of land that God has given. I would say that it's an opportunity, one, for Abraham to realize the wonderful gift that he has been given by God, but also to, to understand what would have been lost if Lot had made a different choice. So let us listen to our reading. It comes from Genesis chapter 13, verses 14 through 18. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible. After Lot separated from him, the Lord said to Abram, From the place where you are standing, look up and gaze to the north, south, east, and west. Because all the land that you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth. If someone could count the bits of dust on the earth, they would also be able to count your descendants. Stand up, walk around through the land, the length and breadth of the land, because I am giving it to you. So Abraham packed his tent and went and settled by the oaks of Mamre and Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord. Abraham took a look at God's gift, and after that, what did he do? He built an altar. He built a place of worship and prayer. 
Worship and prayer are certainly an expression of our gratitude for God's gifts. But worship and prayer are also a source of discernment in our lives. Discernment that is God-guided, that helps us to make good choices. Thomas Akempis lived in the 15th century. He took holy orders and dedicated himself to a life of prayer. The spiritual classic, Imitation of Christ, is attributed to him. Amongst the many beautiful prayers that he wrote, there is a prayer for discernment that I'm going to share with you now. Grant me, O Lord, to know what is worth knowing, to love what is worth loving, to praise what delights you most, to value what is precious to you, and to reject whatever is evil in your eyes. Give me true discernment, so that I may judge rightly between things that differ. Above all, may I search out and do what is pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Every day we make choices. It is our hope that we will choose things that are worth loving, that we will choose things that are precious to God. I invite you in your prayer time to take your calendar, because I think probably what most of us do throughout the day is to make choices about what we're going to do with the gift of time that God has given to us. Now your calendar may be a paper calendar, it may be your cell phone, whatever it is, to sit and hold it up, make it an offering to God. And in prayer, to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you so that you and all of us can make good choices about how to, to spend the gift of time that God has given to us.